You have to try to get to a certain word. And you can make it go faster or slower. I'm Becky Himmelman and I'm the primary French immersion teacher at Schwechter Heights. We're actually French language arts. Uh, so in primary, uh, centers is a huge part of our daily routine. Uh, so we're just incorporating the technology uh, to kind of give some guidance but also allow for that student exploration in our centers. So some of our centers have immediate feedback that keeps the students on track. Um, while others kind of, they work with groups, they work in a team with a partner. Uh, and it kind of lets them have an exploration and practice their language arts skills. Excellent, okay, on va jouer. Pix is a thing is um, a thing that you can that you can talk on. We just talk in front of the camera and make ourselves nice. It helps us learn new words and helps us read. And I like it because I can like practice the mo better. Chatter fix, they love it. We've used it with our writing and with our reading. So what we saw with the reading was they take a book that they're working on, uh, they get to read it and practice fluency, then they get to decorate it, and they've also started adding the words. So they pick a special part from the book that they want to add and they write it right in there. So we put them all together in iMovie and it can read the whole book to them. Wussy Cupcake. Wussy Rosie. They also did it with their writing, so they wrote a story about a stuffed animal, and then they took the chatter pics, took a picture of their stuffed animal, and the stuffed animal was the one speaking, so they loved it. The Spiros are something new that we're trying. The kids have words that they're practicing on the floor. It's partner-based. Uh, they get to tell their partner a word, and then they get to move the Spiro to that word. Okay. And this is a magic pen. So that's where we work on our initial sounds, and then they have to move the picture up to the letter. And what's that word? Ordinator. So it the kids' song. Oh. So if they don't know a word, they know the different ways that they can go. They can go to a friend, they can use a word ball, and then they come back and they have to move it to the initial sound. We did some writing and then we had our cross-age buddies come down and help us do some green screening and bring it to life. We wore masks. The kids loved it. It was awesome. They're definitely a lot more excited and it's a lot more play-based, which is really nice. And it keeps them more engaged. It keeps them focused on what they're doing and sometimes they don't even realize that they're practicing their sight words or that they're reading a book. To get them to sit down and read a book quietly in the corner and then to get them to use Chatterbix, the difference in their excitement level is amazing. I like this because um, you get to sneak up on people with it and I like sneaking up on people.